Hello my dear students, thank you so much for watching this previous video and today we are here again to learn mathematics. I would like to welcome you all. The lesson for today is about subtracting two numbers for grade 1. Once again, my name is Teacher Gopal. So, here are the objectives that we have in this chapter. We are now in chapter 3, subtraction with intent. So at the end of this chapter, you must know how, how to subtract numbers, you must know how to solve word problems, and you must know how to make or to create writing subtraction sentences. So we will focus today about solving word problems for grade 1. So here are the steps in solving word problems for grade 1. Step number 1. Okay. So this is the example. Step number 1. Read and understand the problem. Let's say for example here, based on the picture that you can see here, 6 Sam has 9 toy cars. And then, he gives five of his toy cars to his friend. Again, as you can see here, Six Sam has nine toy cars. He gives five of his toy cars to his friend. The question here, how many toy cars does he have left? So you must know how to read and you must understand what you are reading in the problem. Okay. So this is the step number one, read and understand the problem. So as you can see here in the picture, that 6M has 9 toy cars and then 5 of his toy cars he gave to his friend. So step number two. In step number two, we need to write the subtraction sentences. Here, step number two, write the subtraction sentence. So as you can see here, 6 Sam has nine toy cars. So we'll write here, nine. And then, he gives five of his toy cars to his friend. So the word gives, it indicates minus. So we'll write here, five, because he gives five of his toy cars to his friend. So the question here is equals to how many toy cars does he have left? So this is the question. So this is called the subtraction sentence. Okay, this is called the subtraction sentence. So after you read, you write the subtraction sentence. And then step number three, you solve the question and write a sentence to the answer. Okay, so as you can see here, nine toy cars and then he gives five toy cars to his friend so nine minus five you count five times backward one two three four five so the answer here is four so as you can see the story that six hand has nine toy cars and then he gives five of his toy cars to his friend so we write here nine minus five and the answer is 4. Okay, so 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. So 6N has 4 toy cars left. Now next, always remember the, the word left, as you can see here, the color red, the word left, it indicates subtraction, okay? So this is the subtraction sign, okay? Here, example number two. There are seven crops in the pen. Can you see the crops here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven crabs right so three of crabs leave the pen so 
cards. You can see here one, two, three. Three cards leave the pen. So the question here is how many cards are left in the pen? So we are right here seven cards in the pen. Again, you can see the word left. This word left indicates the minus or subtraction. Okay, so we'll write here subtraction sign. Again, there are seven probs, so right here seven. And then you can see here the word left, so right here left. And then three crops leave the pen. So the question is how many pen, how many crops are left in the pen? So the answer is four. So you can see here one, two, three, four, right? So four. Now, the answer here is there are four crops in the pen. Okay. Now, let's continue. Another example. Example number three. Now, look at the picture here. As you can see here, there are nine glasses. And nine glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine glasses. Six glasses are filled with orange juice. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the glasses that filled with orange juice. Now the question here, how many glasses are empty? Empty means doesn't have an orange juice. Again, there are nine glasses of there are nine glasses six glasses are filled with orange juice so the question here is how many glasses are empty so we will write here nine glasses minus six glasses that filled with orange juice so the question is how many glasses are empty of course three nine minus six is equals to 3. Now, you can write this way also. So 9 minus 6 is equals to 3. This is called the number bonding. So we have discussed this previously in our previous video. 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay, so if you haven't watched the video about the methods and subtracting numbers, you can watch in our previous video. So these are the example of number sentence. So the answer here is nine minus six is equals to three. Therefore, three glasses are empty. As you can see here, one, two, three. So three glasses are empty. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening and thank you for watching this video. God bless everyone. Thank you. Keep safe and have a good health.